Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Vijayapati and in this video I will be talking about how we can set up a Microsoft Fabric account using our personal emails and using our organization email ID or we can say a company ID. So first option I will not I will not be telling you in this video. Rather than I will be telling you about the second option because that's a straightforward option and the first option is kind of little bit tricky so i will cover this in the next video okay so the see i have an organization id right you might be you do not have an organization id then how you can get the organization id this is the first uh, question right so we can get the email id of uh, some kind of fake email id from this website okay so what you need to do is that you need to go to this website right temp uh, you know hyphen mail dot org and then you know you can get it here some email id so now if i refresh this page then i will be getting here some different email id now right so just wait for some few minutes <coughs> then we will get some you know uh, some email id right and uh, we have to copy it i i have gotten the you know i, I have gotten the some email id and now in the next step we have to go to this uh, you know this website so what what is the website website is this just, just search here search in the google app dot fabric and you will be getting this first website click on it and then you, you know it is asking whether enter your email we will check if you need to create a new account or not so i just copy and you know paste that uh, that id which we had copied and now what we have to do okay it takes some time yeah so you can see all these messages are coming now it is asking whether this this email is a organization email or you know personal email so as i said that i will be going forward with the organization email id only so i'll choose this and click on next button okay then here you can you know pass your name fill up your fill up this form so i can write my name my surname and united kingdom no it's india so i can give here my country name okay so that is india where it is india right business phone number i can pass it right and then we have i can pass here some password so let me write it down choose my own password okay please send me a code okay so you know uh, in this email we have gotten some some uh, you know some email some verification code so you can see the email we receive and the code is 181607 so you have to paste it over here what is the code once again 181607 right and then click on next button we'll see whether it will create an account or not <laughs> right so we'll wait for some time yeah everything is set up and we have to copy this id so let me just copy it and paste it somewhere so i'll paste it in my ppt only just for time being right okay get started now here we i have to you know paste that email id and then password my password is this sign in never now all these actions if you want to take it you can take it otherwise you can leave it for now so i can leave it for now ask later and i'll set up all these stuff you know in later offline and you know those features just for the security purpose you know now you can see we have this fabric 
page right you can you know see there we have this microsoft fabric option or icon right and symbol and we have you know all these of power bi data factory data activator synapse data engineering data warehouse real-time analytics and and all other stuff right now you have to go to here setting option and what you all need to do is and if you click over here the in this setting option you can see general notification item setting resources personal storage power bi settings and you know others other things are given over here governance also admin admin portal and microsoft purview all these things are given over here now go, go to here and we have to click on this free i mean free, uh, start free trial right so we have to click over here you can see to use the fabric and enhance capability sign up for a trial we will assign you a free ca trial capacity for a limited time you can create and work with any new item available in the purview preview preview stage right so suppose you know before if i click here if i click here and you know you can see i have one workspace assigned automatically that is called my workspace and you can see we have this one lake one lake hub also so what what if if i try to create a new pipeline just for you know um, kind of thing now you can see unable to create this item because i do not have any you need you need a free microsoft trial capacity version right so what i'll do all need to do go here and click on this start trial option got it okay now <clears throat> now again you can see we have all the things set up over here and this is the data factory option you can see and uh, i can and now you can see we have power bi detected the same thing you know which i had told now sometimes you know when i apparently i am making the video in the month of january so i have faced a couple of issues that you know i am not able to create here some uh, some pipeline or you know, anything i cannot create it because of some capacity issue now let's try again and uh, one minute let me refresh this page and what if you know what you can do i'll go over here go to my workspaces i can create my new workspace let's say uh, i can create the workspace name geek coders if you want to add some description you can add it and domain you know you can this is optional some images it's op optional so i you know I, I will not do it right away and this is done now what i can do if i am gonna go here and you know create some mm -mm, lake house so you can see you need a free unfortunately your micro tenant has reached the maximum number of available free trial capacity so this issue you know i am getting it from two days and i have checked in the documentation that saying that you know recently this issue is i mean ma many people is receiving this kind of issue okay so this is one drawback i could say because this is a free email right and i'm i'm not sure why it is happening maybe because from azure microsoft team side only on it maybe you know it's our issue and what you can do you can you can try it uh, you know uh, after some time and see that you know whether you are able to uh, make the resources or services or not if not then i would suggest to uh, wait for some time and try it again right now now you can see this is one lake hub and you can see this is my data and endorse in your organization you know currently we do not have any data so you know if you want to add it you can like try and gonna add right and all this stuff you can see data warehouse power bi the time and analytics data factory lake house spark definition everything is over here again we can try it out see again it is showing us the same issue right so that's not our our problem right do not think you know that the the setup is wrong or you know something like that it's the problem from the microsoft side right so we have to wait for some time because since you know we are using a free free trial version right if you want to purchase it then it you will not get this kind of issue and you can create here multiple works workspaces also see i can go again in the workspace and you know i can create a new 
new workspace and then hit on apply button right so it's up to you how many workspaces you want to create in the last video my, my i might have told that you know we can only create a one workspace that was wrong the i i mean what i wanted to say in that video is that you can only i mean i mean suppose if you are enabling this um, microsoft fabric in your tenant right yeah so then you, then it is it it will be applicable for all the resources right as an you know for one project you will not uh, you, you will you will enable the uh, enable the microsoft fabric and for and for second project you will not enable the you know so if you're enabling the microsoft fabric then it will apply for the organization for whole tenant right so yeah that's it for this video and moving forward i will be trying to create a uh or set up an account using our personal email id because this is to be honest this is not a correct way to do you know it's a kind of fake email so we should not use something fishy or something fake right so i will we'll see you know how we can set up uh, via you know via this organize via this personal email id also in the next video till then thank you bye bye and uh, then we will start a tutorials on a uh, microsoft fabric you know in a week i will be uploading like two to three videos and a weekend i will be upload like seven to ten videos and we will cover everything right and then we will start some project ideas right so thank you bye bye hey hello guys welcome back in this video i will be creating a new account for microsoft fabric using my email id using my working email id okay so this is the same page you know what i have told you in the previous video if you haven't watched my previous video i would suggest to watch out my previous video then jump to this video so that you will get a better understanding what issues we were facing in the in the you know previous video right on the previous email like that right so this is the email id of mine of my you know of my company so i have it in over here and i'll click on the submit button now what will happen that you know it will ask us whether it is an organization id or personal id so i can say it is i got from it from my organization id right and then click on next button then a new form will be pop up right so you can see create, create your account and i can click on this uh you know call me button and here I can give my number. So I tell you it should be plus nine one India, right? Two okay. I have to go down actually not to go above. yeah india and then i can write here my number so i have written here my you know verification code which i received from a call that's why i stopped the video and now let's verify this hmm. okay now it will take a few seconds and then we'll see whether it's working or not yep everything is correct now and here i can you know pass my name so sagar and this is my page of Pati. it's india so i'll go a little bit up above and i'll choose india i can give the same number some password you can also pass your password okay so i have received some you know some email right verification email on this email so what i can do i can jump to that uh, part so what i'll do i'll go to here and let me just refresh this page yes you can see this email i have gotten and i'll go back and paste it here click on next button 
it may take some few seconds and then we'll see you know what is happening everything is done now so click on this get started and here again i will pass my email id info at the head coders dot 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 co dot in and the password is whatever the password i have mentioned over here i just you know put it this yes then we'll see whether here a microsoft fabric allows us to create a new oops something went wrong what is that something is wrong we'll see the id yes now it is correct and you know if, if i go to here if i go to one lake hub and my data everything is seems same and if i click on this you know report and then we'll see whether i'm able to do it or not right if i okay i can do it later all all these things <coughs> let me cancel this yes and i'll go here all paid features of power bi are yours for 60 days look like you wanted to share uh, okay this is related to power bi and already you know uh, the free trial has been started okay the free trial has been start has been started and this is for the power bi and what i do i'll go here and create a new workspace and saying that this is for geek coders okay and i click on this apply button right i click on this apply button and uh, yes we have a fabric now okay and if i create a new service or you know yeah new service if i want to uh, create like let's say i'm gonna create a lake house so we'll see whether what will happen now now you can see we have actually uh, successfully you know uh, used this microsoft fabric cut trial version see what happened because you know i was using uh, some fake emails right that's why maybe the microsoft does not allow us or did not allow us right they got to know that people are using uh, some fake emails and so that's why i use my email id my 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 email id and then you know it is working perfectly fine right click on this ok button Now you know I can create some new lake house. So I can write some name like you know geek coders. Right, click on create button. And then you know, likewise, you know, I can I I can do many stuff over here. And it is not like you know I have I can only create a lake house, I can create SQL endpoints and other stuff. Now you can see we have this table folder and file folder. Inside this, I can put some some you know uh, some folders also i mean not folders i can create a folders also and also i can you know uh, dump some files csv file packet file orc ever whatever it is and then i can also create a new shortcut what does it mean is that actually if the data is resides in the one lake or you know gen 2 or sc bucket then i can actually get it into the lake house right that that's me and and you know this is the lake house but this is the one lake you know here here actually i can create this is equal endpoint cementing model ha huh. this is a lake house right and uh, if you wanna add some data over here if i click here my data then you can see we have this key coder and all these things are coming over here right and likewise you know if i click if i click to my workspace not workspace this workspace click here then you can see we have data flow right so everything is present over here like define new tables link table from other data flow import model and and many things uh, is here right so let me just cancel this again i'll go here i'll go there and you know i can what i can do if i wanna you know create a notebook 
right then we'll see how it looks at least we should know right <laughs> how it looks so you can see we have uh, this kind of uh, jupyter kind of uh, ui jupyter notebook kind of ui and you know we can this is the cells we call it a cell and you can see the code is in py PySpark or python and you can change it to scala spark scala spark sql spark also it's up to you and then we can add here our lake house so you know we want to add an existing lake house so which what lake house we have we have this lake house so we can add it and then we can import all these things into here and then we can do do our you know processing and also all all other stuff right so like you know likewise you know we have multiple options so i cannot go to every option in this video rather than what i will do i will create a separate video right when when we try to learn all these things correct and we'll see one by one key you know how we can see we actually we have two type of notebooks one is for you know data engineering second is for data science and then we, we have data warehouse right and then the power bi and then real time analytics so everything is present over here do not need to worry about hey Saka, how i can learn and you know when you will create a videos just focus on the basic stuff for now and you know learn the basic stuff if you already know ad of spark before then it will be very easy for you to understand the concept otherwise you make you may uh, take some more time right so chalo uh, let's stop this video here and from tomorrow or maybe from next video i will be covering about the lake house in detail and then you know and then notebook first we will cover about the data engineering stuff right not data engineering we can say data factory because this data factory is kind of similar thing right and then we'll go and move forward to this like a notebook how we can set up environments and you know spark job definition and the stuff and moving forward we'll see one by one you know right so chalo, let's stop this video here and we'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye